Superstar Clemson quarterback Trevor Lawrence has tested positive for the coronavirus. Lawrence will miss this Saturday's game against Boston College. He is isolating with mild symptoms. He released a statement on Twitter. Here's what he said. Quote, I have tested positive for COVID-19. My symptoms have been relatively mild while I'm following the protocol from Clemson and the ACC. The only thing that hurts is missing an opportunity to be with my teammates this weekend and play the game I love. I hate that I can't be there, but I'll be watching from isolation and pulling for our guys while I wait for the opportunity to rejoin the team. God bless and go Tigers. So that is the latest from him. Let me bring in the latest from my crew here, and here's who we have covering this this morning. Heather Dinich, Paul Feinbaum, David Pollack are standing by. Heather, what is the very latest from you? Well, Trevor Lawrence began his 10-day isolation mm -hmm. on Thursday. I guess the question is, when did his symptoms start? Because that's when the clock really starts ticking and determines when he can return. <laughs> Much like in the Big Ten, Trevor Lawrence would have to go through cardiac testing and clear that. Plus, he also has to be symptom-free and fever-free for 24 hours. Now, Dabo Sweeney said yesterday that contact tracing, at least as of last night, wasn't a problem within the team. Trevor Lawrence doesn't live with any other teammates, and the quarterbacks in Clemson's program, um, they are always at least six feet apart. So he said that shouldn't be a problem. Clemson tests regularly on Fridays, so we should know more later today about the actual scope of this. Okay, and can we go back quickly to the part about the 10 days? Because yesterday you and I were talking on this program about how a player in the Big Ten testing positive will be out for a minimum of 21 days. What is the minimum, for lack of asking it a more direct way? How quickly, if everything went perfectly, could Trevor Lawrence be back? He could be back for the Notre Dame game if everything works out perfectly. Unlike the Big Ten, which has a return to play progression that we talked about, there is not such a mandate in the ACC. So the question is, do Clemson's doctors and medical staff clear Trevor Lawrence to play after a 10-day isolation? And again, Greeny, that starts at the onset of symptoms, which as of right this second, we don't know when that clock started ticking. And so to be clear, they play BC this weekend. The Notre Dame game is the following weekend. So we are, that 10 days is, takes us almost directly up to that game. So David Pollock, let me then come to you. They play Boston College this weekend. Is there any question in your mind they beat BC without Trevor Lawrence? No, they beat BC without Trevor Lawrence. Um, but I, 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 Notre Dame is, is a totally different animal. You know what the good thing about this is for Clemson? is you recruit five stars like it's going out of style. And you went from Deshaun Watson to Trevor Lawrence. And next is DJ Uwe Unga Lele. I mean, he's the next guy. He's six foot four, six foot five, 240, 50 pounds, by the way, a ridiculous athlete. So I think the game plan would change. It would look different. He is, he's going to be a tank. He's going to run the football more. You'll, you'll depend more on Travis Etienne. But I don't have any doubts they can still beat Boston College. Notre Dame in, in, in a week and a couple of days or a week and a day is, is a little different story, though. Clearly, and that's the one that people will have circled. And so, Paul Feinbaum, I come to you with that. If Clemson loses a tough game against Notre Dame without Trevor Lawrence, in your opinion, how should the College Football Playoff Committee evaluate that? Well, they would, they would have to look at, at, at the totality of the game, but the most important thing, Greeny, won't be that game, and it's already uh, going to be the biggest game of the year in college football. Now it's gone to uh, epic proportions. But it's what happens after that. And, and the, the good news for Trevor Lawrence and Clemson, they may very well get Notre Dame again in the ACC championship game. Yes, Notre Dame is in the ACC this one year only. So should that happen and they meet Notre Dame again at the end of the season and win that game, I don't think there's any doubt whatsoever they get into the playoffs. So. Uh, no, nobody wants this. Nobody wants to have bad news, but uh, this would be the best time and has been probably the best time for, for Clemson to get this news because they, they still have a pretty good path ahead. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.